sure hope we meet some pretty girls. We were volunteers to go to not an official dance club, but a place where there would be a little orchestra. I know I was always dressed up. You fluff up your hair instead of bangs, it would be a poof. Oh, first time in the canteen, eh? Yes, ma'am. Well, now, would you rather eat first or dance first? Eat first, I think, ma'am. Virginia, show this boy the ropes, eh? This is Virginia Gray. What's your name? Don Brent. Hello, Virginia. Hello, Don. On second thought, I think I'd like to dance first. <laughs> well, come on. We would supply donuts, food, <laughs> snacks, and dancing, and conversation. It was called Stage Door because there were so many actors and actresses who volunteered. They'd be playing big band music, of course. Glenn Miller, Tommy Dorsey, In the Mood, uh, Congo Lines, they were popular. Uh, we would jitterbug. I wasn't tossed between the boy's legs and over his head. None of that. That was low class. <laughs> given strict instructions about hormones, although they didn't call them hormones, and what, how we might be tempted, and we were not to see these men ever outside the stage door. Eileen, if you forget any of the rules, just ask Ella Sue or me. I suppose I meet a wolf? They won't make any passes at you, honey. All you've got to do is just be firm, but in a cute sort of way. Mm. Soldiers and sailors on leave want something more than somebody to talk to. And those stage door canteens were sponsored by the government. Why'd you volunteer for this work? Because I wanted to help. Help what? I wanted to help my country. Why do you think your country needs your help? We're in a war and we've got to win. Yes, that's right. We're in a war and we've got to win. And we're going to win. And that's why the boy you love is going overseas. And isn't that maybe why you're going to go back in there and get on your job? When I came home at night, I would write to the boys I knew in the service. We would send packages containing envelopes with wax paper between the glue and the envelope so that they didn't melt together. And of course candy and of course anything sweet. And I would listen to Glenn Miller. He played his music every night on the radio. I didn't listen or read about the news. I learned about the war after the war when I was a grown-up.